Babesiosis is another tick-borne disease that we've been hearing about. In addition to Lyme disease, anaplasmosis, and others, Babesiosis is a parasitic disease transmitted by ticks, and it's caused primarily by Babesia microti in the United States. And that's transmitted by the same tick that transmits Lyme disease. The tick is called Ixodes scapularis, and it's commonly known as the black-legged tick, sometimes called the deer tick. They have a fever, chills, body aches, headache. However, some patients may experience more severe symptoms and babesiosis can even be life-threatening. Most people will recover with treatment, but we are particularly concerned about patients who are immunocompromised or don't have a functioning spleen. Lyme disease, if untreated, will disseminate throughout the body to the joints, to the nervous system and the brain, whereas babesiosis doesn't have that same pattern of dissemination. However, it can be life-threatening, particularly in patients that are immunocompromised or patients that don't have a functioning spleen. It can be fatal in those individuals. And we continue to see cases expand into other states along with the tick that spreads it, which is primarily Ixodes scapularis, the black-legged tick, or otherwise known as deer tick. And with that tick is the disease it carries, Lyme disease, as well as things such as babesiosis, anaplasmosis, and numerous other tick-borne diseases as well. And I call those the ABCs of tick bite prevention. A stands for avoid. You want to avoid the areas where ticks are found. And in the upper Midwest and Northeastern states where babesiosis is found, that means areas in the woods where there's brush, leaf litter, and tall grasses. B stands for bug spray. Wear it when you're outdoors and you think you're going to be exposed to tick bites or mosquito bites. And C stands for cover up. Wear protective clothing. If you have clothing over your skin, then the ticks won't be able to bite your skin.